and so I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna do a no look. Just a walk away. Yeah. Yes! Yes, it's in! <laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> oh my god! Hey everybody, I'm James Palmer at Sun Outdoors Lake Travis in Austin, Texas. And I'm here with actor, director, martial artist, Michael Jai White. And this is Campfire Combos. Michael, we're gonna start off a little thing called Firestarter. I know people ask you about martial arts all the time, but I kind of was thinking coming here, my son takes karate or took karate. Mm -hmm. Why do so many kids quit karate? Because they get kicked in the head. <laughs> and they're done? Yeah, well. I don't uh, yeah. think he even sparred with anybody and he was out. Well, well, you know, the representation is not the same as, as it was when I was when I was younger. Okay. Yeah, you know, I, th I think, you know, when you had people like Bruce Lee and uh, Jackie Chan, all that type of stuff, you kind of wanted to be Bruce Lee. And yeah. nowadays, it's it's not quite. You got the Cobra same. Kai. Yeah. Does that bring yeah. it back? Cobra exactly. Kai. Exactly. It, feel, it feels like a you know a, a summer camp or something. <laughs> so you know everybody wanted to be Bruce Lee growing up. So you had mm -hmm. a, a a big you know swath of people jumping into martial art classes. Yeah. But now now it's just and it doesn't capture the attention as much. I get, I'm curious about it because I'm just yeah. is is I, I feel like we also quit things early. We do. The minute they get difficult. Yeah, yeah, because you get sued nowadays. <laughs> so if, <laughs> if they taught the way that I learned, mm -hmm. I mean, my teacher beat me with sticks. And not just me, but everybody. Not there was a these thing, ones. Not, well, there's uh, something called a shinai, right? Oh. And it's a, it's a stick that when they hit you, it's got you know, bamboo slits on it, okay. and it makes a lot of noise. Holy it's like whack. Holy. Not so much anymore. Now it's a business. So Got it's, it. you know, it's it's a little different. When, when, so wait, were you, I mean, I'm not going to say, uh, uh, do you want me to say how old are you, you are? Do you want to say how old you are? Nah, no, you yeah, just look I'm, tremendous. I, I'm ish. Yeah, and you still ish. look remarkable. Did mm -hmm. you, were you super physically fit because of martial arts or was that already kind of, you were into taking care of your body while that was going on? It was something just very inherent. I, I just thought that, why would you not look like, you know, like I, I, I saw Jim Brown and Fred Williamson mm -hmm. and Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I go, I, I want to look like that. Yeah. You know, I'm like, that's the way a man's supposed to look. That's, I don't know, it was just stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. You know, I would draw people that look like that, and that's how I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, getting into the martial arts, and I, I, you know, got into physical fitness, but even weightlifting to some degree just to enhance the martial arts. Gotcha. You know, so I don't know. It's, it's like if I had a religion or some kind of a cult that I was starting, <laughs> it, you know, taking care of your, your health would be like number one. Number one. Yeah. yeah. When you see certain people in movies and you know a lot about health and do you go like because one mm -hmm. jumps out at me recently zach efron talking about my body in baywatch is not a normal body to like live consistently with mm. and it caused him a lot of physical harm and mental harm what he did to get his body to look like that for kudos that for him that that's right? that's very responsible young kids that grow up with you know body issues because they're mm -hmm. you know matching up to th these standards and, uh, and like I said, that's great for him to, to, to go out and say that. You know, we're, we're not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a, a bit blessed. I'm, mm -hmm. you know, I was physical my, my entire life, so it doesn't take the same amount of, You're not you know, doing it for a role. It's no, been no, your it's, lifestyle. Yeah, it's a lifestyle. Right. Like I said, it's my cult. It's my religion. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? This I'm is what I do. We like go down I, the road of what this cult's going to be no, called. I, 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 you can't keep me from working out. That's, yeah. it's, it's not a chore. It's, it's a gift. It's, it's mm -hmm. a right for yeah. me. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you know, that I, is something I love to do. Yeah. But to someone who doesn't know, someone who might be thin their whole life, they think I'm, they think I'm walking around thin and I'm, you bulking snap your up. fingers and a couple no. injections, and here well, we are. Well, well, they think I'm bulking up for some reason, but I'm, it's always, I'm always trimming down, like a fighter. You know, you, you trim okay. down, and when they weigh in, they're much lighter than they're normally. Yep. Then and that's when fun. you start seeing the muscle, mm -hmm. and people think it, they think about it in, in reverse, but no. 
Um, I'm, I'm a lot of times too big for a lot of roles. Is that what you're told, or is that how? Well, it yeah, goes? because again, like I don't get the accountant role very much because <laughs> I'm, well, I'm a bench pressing accountant. Yeah. It, so, I, it, a particular yeah. accountant could like to work out like you. Well, know. yeah. Early on, there was a role that when after I did Spawn, mm -hmm. that my, you know, it was a, it was a big company that had a movie that they needed a star for, mm -hmm. and they wanted to offer me this this role, and I said, "Are you crazy?" But my my manager and agents were like, what are you doing? They're offering you the role to play Marvin Gaye. Really? Yes, they had this, this hot script ready to go. They needed a young black actor with some heat. Mm -hmm. And they're like, you're our, our Marvin Gaye. And I'm like, you are out of your freaking mind. <laughs> I'm not going to do that to myself. Mm -hmm. And you know, I don't have that kind of ego. Like. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm from reality. I can't be a buff ass Marvin Gaye. Like, yeah. stop it. Yeah. Stop it. I just played Mike Tyson. Everybody <laughs> saw what I looked like. That could have been your guy's twist on it. How many? I how wouldn't many... be here anymore because I'm the <laughs> actor that ruined Marvin, Marvin Gaye. Gaye. <laughs> He's like, how do I say that? That's what that's what would happen. He's like, remember that guy that played Tyson and didn't have the nerve to think he could play <laughs> Marvin Gaye? <laughs> All right, Michael, this is S'more Talk. And listen, I know you want to get in the RV game. Mm -hmm. You've already been in it a little bit. Oh, absolutely. This might have to be a part of your diet moving forward. I'm going to go with a peanut butter version, I think. What? Because I'm crazy. You want to go peanut butter? Well, yeah. Go ahead. I didn't peanut know, butter I didn't know there. peanut butter had yeah. reared its head. <laughs> so I mentioned you uh, are interested. We're, we're here looking at all the mm -hmm. all these different RVs. You got yeah. all the lingo down too. I mean, you're like. Yeah, I've been into the in RV it. thing for a long time with the family. And uh, do you have one instance when I say, "Hey, you've rented an RV a lot. Mm -hmm. Tell me an RV story." Is there one that just jumps to the front of your mind? Is it a friend trip? Is it a family trip? Well, Is I it... mean, when I took my son to college, uh, we made it a, a oh, that's family, a great idea. you know, trip. You know, and. I will not rent uh, an RV over 40 feet anymore because backing up sucks if you, you don't know how to do it. Did you wherever. sign the extra paperwork? Yes, I did. <laughs> you know, I didn't know if I could buff it out or not, but like, you know, when you're swinging this way, in yeah. the back of it, swinging another way. And, you know, when you, you're the dad and you think that you got it under control. That's a lot like, of pressure as you're the yeah. dad in there. Right? Yeah. You're yeah. Superman to the family. You're like, I'm not yeah. failing. Yeah. And even if they think you're an idiot, yeah. then you definitely don't want to fail. And then it's like you hear scrape. <laughs> Like okay, you know that's just the, that's the TV. Give me give me one good RV story to paint a picture of if I ever am lucky enough uh -huh. to be invited into an RV with you and several other people uh -huh. um, on a trip. Well, I mean it's last minute. I'm a last minute type of I dude. Like that. I yeah, like that. so like, we're gonna go see the UFC fight. So you know we're gonna all take different cars up there? No. no. I'm going to surprise you, and I'm going to pull up, and I'm going to honk outside <laughs> your door, and you're going to jump in, and we're going to roll. You, you got the bathroom. You got everything else. And, That's true. And after the fight, everybody's, like, hanging out at the RV anyway. Yeah. You know, you just kind of make it up as you, as you go along. That's what I like. I like yeah. the, the improv nature of it. We're dancing. Yeah, Cajun. Cajun style. The burnt smell, though, smells great. Hmm. Are you good? Uh, yeah, if it's, uh, it's soft Think enough it's... to get gooey. Yeah, you need the goo. All right. So Sweet. mush you. Yep. And, and then, then just smush you. Jablow. And then pull it out. Pull her out. Yep. Bing, bang, boom. It's All like right. you're an expert. Well, I learned quick, I guess. <laughs> All right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. All right. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this. We were talking movies earlier. Mm-hmm. Been a lot of action movies. All right? Mm-hmm. Is it like a dance choreography? Like a like a you know what I mean? You're dancing with somebody, essentially, if you're fighting with them, right? Pretty much, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's like it's like a dance that um for me, I like to I'm I'm at that point where I'm trying to make and choreography look less like choreography. Got it. Yeah. How do you do that? You just kind of really hit the guy. Really? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, no, no. no. 
No, I'm just saying you 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 want Steven Seagal? <laughs> no, I knew that was good. No, no. I knew you said it, but I have a story about that. Well, me too. You want to trade stories? That's you, what you do by a campfire. Uh, oh yeah, that's, that's that just sounds about right. You want me to go first? Go ahead, go ahead. Um, dunking it makes it a little less. Oh, sweet. that's an interesting take. Yeah, Nobody's done that before. Hey, you know who taught me how to dunk these things? Who? DMX. No way. I kid you not. Uh, All right, that's be- like let's just. Mm. Side route now. Yeah. Tell me about the MX teaching you how to dunk a s'more. Well, or the, just dunking anything in, in particular. When we were on set, right? Mm-hmm. He and his wife. We he would get oatmeal cookies. Oh. Right. Oatmeal cream pies. Cheap, you know, just cheap ass cookies. Mm. But they would dunk them in hot water really quick, and eat them, and they taste like it came out of the oven. It was a trick that he taught me that I've been, you know, I'd done. Yeah. In <laughs> one sentence, a... I went from going, this is the worst idea in the world, uh-huh. to going, no, 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 I think you're really onto something. Or, I think yeah, this is... But cheap cookies, like, I mean, just the cheapest cookie, mm-hmm. but but in really hot water and eating it. And it was like, that's kind of genius. Like, what the heck? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Kind of genius. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wish God. I had, you know, footage of it, because that was really interesting. Cause... That is very interesting. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have another one, huh? I am going to have one more. Okay, go ahead. You're good. Who go do you want? Who wants to go first on their Steven Seagal story? Well, you. Me? Go ahead. Okay, yeah. I'll go first. Mm-hmm. So, my brother-in-law is a retired stuntman. And one time I went to lunch out in Santa Monica with him and two other mm-hmm. stuntman buddies. Mm-hmm. And all three of them were on the set, apparently, of Under Siege. One of them lost his mind on Steven Seagal after repeatedly telling him, stop punching me in the face. And then he ends up still punching him in the face again on the next take, and he punches Steven Seagal back, quits, locks off the set. Mm-hmm. Um, is that a common thing? Yeah, he, he, he tends to lay, in, you know, lay, lay it in on people. Um, certain, certain people, he knows who not to do that to. Some people like it. Some stunt guys like to. Get... Some people go with it. Uh, yeah, yeah, some people, you know, look at it as a badge of honor. Well, you know, I'd be on the other side of that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I, 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 I take pride in not hurting yeah. anybody. Yeah. I, I, you know, it, it would uh, call I, me crazy. Yeah, it's, but... it's just. I'd... Did you guys had scenes together though? Yeah, we did. Did he hit you? No. I tell you, I haven't told this story to too many people, but Ooh. okay. That's what you do by a campfire. This is exactly this is exactly what happened. Okay. And 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 the people involved, they know that they did this. Okay. So yeah, I had a I had a one scene left, and which is the fight scene with Steven Seagal. In the duration of the shoot, one one left. It was like a month to go. I'm like, hey, when can I shoot this scene and like go home? <laughs> yeah. And I tell it to the director, and the director Andre Barkoviak goes. Um, well, you know, what we're going to do, <laughs> we're going to make that scene at the very end of the movie. So if you, you know, hit him really, or, or hit him or hurt him, we can finish the movie with the stunt double. If you, like, you know, really F him up, <laughs> it'll be okay. I'm like, is this guy trying to encourage me to hurt Steven? <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? I'm like... That is just a punk move to hit somebody who's not ready for it. And, you know, I guess there's people who want that to happen to him because they feel like he deserved it. But no, well, the people who have a gripe with him that he hit, they're the ones that should do that. Not you. Not me, you know what I mean? So, I mean. Maybe they like you as a fighter and they want you to be. Yeah, they want the story. Right. And I think the s'more is stuck to my hand. Dude, my hands are super sticky. Yeah, yeah. It's like I'm. I get the I call it a DMX dip now, man. Yeah, it's like. A DMX dip right in, right in there. Perfect thing for you after sugar is rapid fire questions because you want to answer quickly. Let's do this. Camper or glamper? I don't know what the difference of that is. Camping would be like the guy that I carry. I go up into the woods with a tent on my back. No. Find a spot in the woods. Glamper. glamper whatever throw me whatever the glamper wood. is, I'm that. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Bruce Lee or Jackie Chan? Bruce Lee. Uh, a stunt you're dreaming about doing but you've never done. Have you ever wanted to do a stunt in a movie that you've never done? Swim. Really? I can't swim. Okay. I'd love to be able to do that. That would mean I can swim. You versus another campfire combo guest mm-hmm. in Max Holloway Me? in the octagon. Oh, you know what? If I fought Max Holloway? Yeah. Oh, poor Max. He's a oh. little guy. 
Yeah, he's a little guy. I know. Yeah, was, no, he, I love Max Holloway. He's yeah. great. Yeah. But he's, he's tiny. You know, it's, 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 it's not unfair. Good point. That's but, but, you know, he's good. If, if I wouldn't get him out in the first round, I'm, I'm in trouble. Yeah. Because okay. <laughs> I'd be very tired. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got it. You've gone face to face with the Joker, mm -hmm. literally. Best Joker of all time. Oh, best Joker of us. Oh, man. Oh my God, why do you have to ask me That's this? That's a tough one. I am glad I'm asking that Damn one because I couldn't answer it. I hate answering this because yeah. I love Heath, Heath Ledger, but come on. It, 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 it's Jack. Yeah, Joaquin Phoenix, man. Oh man, I was going to say Jack Nicholson. That's my no. Mind. No, I don't want to say no like that, but come on. We were great and we were right Joaquin, on key. Joaquin, Joaquin with... Phoenix, just, I'm sorry, that was amazing. You love that. Okay. That was amazing. Uh, <laughs> you come across a bear in the woods. Mm hmm. What style of martial arts are you using, or are you using that speed that we talked about before? Yeah, well, I'm using Run Fu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stealing that. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely stealing that. You've mm -hmm. been in music videos. Mm -hmm. What's your go-to karaoke song? I think, um, uh, I think Born to Run. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Do you go real deep, like the Bruce that nobody can understand? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's born to run. I, I, I have fun with, fun with that one. I love that. Yeah. Oh, we run. Yeah, we can Bruce off. We can Bruce off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. And then last one, I ask everybody this question. Okay. You know the movie Titanic. We've all seen it. Mm-hmm. Do you believe there was enough room yes. for Jack on that I know door? where you're going already. Right? Of course. What's up with that? One try of to get up and on and yeah. off? I'm, I'm always the guy in movies going, hey, what, what's up? <laughs> and so, of course, with that, I'm right? like, chick, you know, hey. Slide over. Yeah, ex exactly. I know. Yeah. I mean, come Same on page. now. You ready for some Feet of the Fire? Warm no. up Jack a little bit? All right, sure. Let's do it. All right. All right, Michael, as we wind this down, mm -hmm. we're going to put our feet to the fire. That's why they scooted our chairs a little closer. Okay. it's really going to get hot, hot here. Okay. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? Obviously, you're in one of the most iconic comic book scenes of all time. But what I'm curious about is, like, in that scene, and everybody talks about, you know, this is an Oscar-winning winning performance and things like that. What's going on that day? Is there a moment that goes, this is, this is insane what we're doing right now. Do you let yourself go there or you can't? No, Run I me never through that do. Day. I never do. It's, I'm in the moment. I want to be as supportive as I can. Mm -hmm. Heath was amazing. This guy, he was, I mean, it's, it's not nearly as serious as people think the setting was. Mm -hmm. Heath was like, he asked, actually would ask my opinion. Mm. You know, what did you think? Like, he would ask that of other actors. I mean, he would modulate his voice, he would change up, and, and it was that one time, one take, he did this very Tom Waits kind of you know, voice. Oh, yeah. And I was like, call and I, like, when he did that, and I was like, wow. I'm like, that one really made me go, man, who is this dude? Yeah. And he's like, you think so? And, and we were playing a lot. Mm -hmm. In fact, he and I were, were, were trading magic tricks. He was playful in the role. He was very open. And even when I would go, okay, let me give him his space, he'd be engaging. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what happened the other day? Oh, we, I mean, he was, just, he was impossible not to just love, you know, just for be, sure. Yeah, so he, he didn't take himself as serious as people think, mm -hmm. right? You know, but, you know, I, I could see the playfulness in his performance, mm -hmm. you know, with the hand sanitizer and all that type of stuff. Yeah. So, you know, th those things are improv. He was really having a good time. So when you guys were able to do those type of things, what I'm curious compared to other movies, when you have the ability to play like that mm -hmm. and try things, is there more excitement when you get to go watch the final cut of the movie because you don't know exactly what was used or how it was used as opposed to something that's maybe much more rigid? in how it was filmed? It's weird, but I, I go to see the movie like I'm a spectator. Like, like yeah. I actually look, I put myself in a place where it's almost like, oh, I didn't know Michael J. White was in this movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I really want to enjoy it. So, um, you know, every now and then, you know, there's, there's times where you're kind of saying, oh, did this work or that work? But I don't really hold on to that stuff very yeah. much. I like, you know, it's like, uh, kind of stuff drives you crazy. Yeah. So I'd, I'd like to be in a moment. Gotcha, gotcha. Last night, 
we were having some barbecue. Mm-hmm. And we gotten into a fame discussion. Fame? A fame discussion. As in, I want to live As forever? In, I want to <laughs> learn how to fly? Yeah. And then uh-huh. they had to use a lot of quick cuts on us uh-huh. on how we were going to dance. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and how people deal with it. And I was just kind of curious because I wanted to go deeper on it. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, and you and I talked about this, it's not the person who gains the fame mm-hmm. sometimes that has the issue dealing with yes, it. Yes, yes. It's those around them. Yep, yep. I, I wasn't aware of and I wasn't, I wasn't ready for it is that, mm-hmm. you know, when I got a modicum of fame, I, I always figured the people that I grew up with were, were going to be the same. Mm-hmm. I lost my own mom in a way because my mom was a sweet, church-going woman who always admired what other people had. And I you know, grew up with the same, mom, don't put these people above you or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I watched her change because she became the first woman on her block with a kid that's on Ebony Magazine yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. And and it's weird. I was I would agree to speak at her women's clubs and into church and everything else on the you know the annual dinner or what. And I watch my mom change. Mm-hmm. And when I would go to visit her, I'd be signing nothing but things for the neighborhood and things for her women's club and all that kind of stuff. It it literally became I became the dancing panda. Mm. And I never gave a damn about an actor or singer or anything else like that. I didn't think that made you a better person. So when I became one, didn't matter to me, mm-hmm. right, at all. Uh, because I look at people who, I mean, just good people. I love good people. Mm-hmm. I hate bullies. I hate people that throw their weight around. I don't care who you are. Hate bullies with a passion. Mm-hmm. So. Somebody who acts like they're better than someone else because they're an actor, I have no, I, I, I have no regard for them whatsoever. Let and, me ask and, you know, this. Around the NFL, there's a, there's a saying, when guys really get paid, mm-hmm. I mean really get paid, paid, mm-hmm. that amount of money only makes you an exaggeration of exactly. who you are. Exactly. I couldn't agree. agree I couldn't agree more. That just, it's if, if you didn't check yourself before you got powerful, God help you, mm-hmm. right? The world kind of closes in, and 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 it just exp- power exposes who you really are mm-hmm. and what your what your principles really are. And there's a lot of examples of just some wonderful people who are powerful, mm-hmm. and they're just powerfully wonderful you know what yeah, i mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah and, and you know there, and there's a there's a lot of those stories you know and and uh you know, you know we, we tend to unfortunately this, this day and age we're kind of on a negative default setting when mm-hmm. there's so much more positive in the world that's what i was going to ask you yeah. who who do you know that with all this breaking breaking all of this down has handled it so well oh there's so like, many in your mind is there anybody so stand out people. look at sean penn like yeah. what? 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 What is Sean Penn deeply? He is. He's an active. That that Activist, guy. Yeah. Yeah. That. That's who he is. Mm-hmm. You know, who happens to have acted. You yeah. know. He's able to do more. Yeah. In what he's already probably yeah. was pre-wired to be and, a part and, of. Yeah. He's he's probably the happiest ever. I mean, look how powerful he is doing what he's intended mm-hmm. to do. You know. I mean, he could have used that power. You know, for evil. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> but, but you know what I'm saying. But yeah. You, you. But there's a lot of examples of people using their their influence. Mm-hmm. That 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 really exposes who they are. You know, for, for me, I mean, I'm I'm gonna be out there, kind of doing the things that I'm doing. Like I'll just be doing more of it. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I dare I say I think I've got some some things to contribute, and um, you know, all the while I think I can reach folks in uh, in other ways as well. Like at a campfire. I appreciate yeah. It. Yeah. What are you gonna do for the next? I don't know. Eight hours that you can't fall asleep after I, having because, that more. Because it is damn sugar <laughs> rush. I don't know. I'm probably going to channel surf for about three hours. Okay. Yeah. Consistently. Not stopping on anything. Got it. Yeah. Well. Your fault. My fault. You can call you me. You and s'mores. I'll hang out with you if you want. Okay. Let's okay. do it. All right. All right. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Hi, 
Well, looks like this fire's about to die. So I hope you enjoyed this episode with Michael Jai White. So click the link below to subscribe and join us for more Campfire Combos.